It was a terrible dream. I think it's a really good example for how to uh, prove for himself and for everybody else that he, if you really, really want to do something, you can reach it. At this moment, when I get this question, I come out in goosebumps. He's put this behind him remarkably well, and I think he wants to be a role model for all those to whom something like this happens. Karabielecki then is back on court and once again firing at will. Despite losing the vision in his left eye, the pole celebrated his comeback only six weeks later. If he's able to do it, then how can any other player say that they can't or that they feel some pain somewhere? Carroll puts his glasses on and has become a role model, and not just for handball players. I take my hat off to him that he's able to play handball again. I hope that he can play handball for as long as possible. The 2 meter 2 Giants is among the best shooters at the Rhein-Neckar Leuven, despite his handicap. What he's experienced and how he's performing at the moment is incredibly impressive. I have to bow before him. It's difficult to say whether I or someone else could do such a thing. It depends on the character of the individual. And Carl really does have a strong character. On the 17th of October last year, something spectacular happened. Karol came back to his sporting home with the Rhein-Neckar Leuven at Kielce. The Leuven number eight was acclaimed and courted like a hero. It was irrelevant that Karol was playing for the opposition on that evening. The person was the only thing that mattered, Karol Bielecki. You just have to imagine, the lad had his accident and was operated on in mid-July. And after a while we were hearing that he was already training with the ball at the end of July. It's insane. But he's done it and I hope that his career continues successfully. He's a top-class player and a great guy. His entire story is simply a miracle.